kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use multiple adapters with the single recycler view. Okay, guys. So basically, you will have multiple views in your uh, recycler view, but you want to use only one recycler view with multiple adapters, or you can say with multiple uh, adapter view types. Okay. So basically. I, it's a very easy process and it was very difficult for me to search on the Google or search on YouTube because there are um, there are many videos but in this video, short video I will be explaining you and will be telling you the most simple way okay so first of all let's uh, I want to show you uh, the output of the multiple uh, of the multiple I mean recycler views so here it is so here you can see we have this app and here if I write hello and I put it send and there you can see there is hello here and if I write hi and if I write it and there you can see it is printed here okay so now I can write how are you and yes this time it will be here and here you can see I am fine so basically it's a single recycler view with multiple view types okay so how you can achieve this so first of all you have to you can see here I have used the recycler view here so you can see we have this recycler view and here we have the edit text and the send and the send button okay so inside this main activity what I did is I only uh, set the recycler, uh, the recycler view and then we used uh, a model class and that is the user message okay so it's a class with uh, message and is user so basically this is the boolean so we will check if it's the user term then make it or display it in the right side and if it is not the user so print it inside the left part so how we can uh, do this so here you can see we have this and inside our uh, inside our main activity so we have this list message adapter okay and we are sending this array list of type user message and user message is message and uh, boolean okay so here we just initialize the array list and then we set the adapter so this is the most efficient way like you have to set your adapter and then if you have any change in your array list then you only need to use this notified data set change okay so now the recycler view will be automatically updated so now as you can see on this button click you can see this is the button click here so what I have done is I have used this boolean is user and I have I have uh, set it to true then here you can see if the user is true it means that we need to have the right side of the message we need to display the message at the right side okay so I just added this array list and of this model object and I used it true because it is the user turn and I just use this uh, notify data set change okay so you have to just ignore it you don't need to set it and I have used it uh, I have then set the is user to false and then inside our else part I am just so basically we are only sending this object you can see new user message and we are sending true or false okay so we so now inside our adapter class where is the adapter class this one okay so here make sure that there is uh, there are a couple of steps so first of all the set the step is you need to use extend recycler view dot adapter and you have to use the recycler view dot view holder okay then what we do is we have this uh, array list we receive it inside our constructor okay then here you have to create separate classes for both of the uh, view types okay so th this one is for the user holder class and uh, uh, I mean the left part and uh, this one will be to display the message at the left part and uh, this one will be at the right part okay so the, these both are same and there you can see 
okay so now inside our own create view holder class so you can see uh, we have this view type okay so you receive this view type here and make sure that you have these two types i mean uh, type the user will be one and type guest will be two so one will be for the right side and the guest will be for the left side okay and then here you have to check if the view type is one or if else this so how you set it so there you can see rc message uh, you, this one and you can see it's at the right side okay but if you see this one so you can see it's at the left side okay so we have th these two uh, layout item files the source files and then you need to check also inside our own bind view holder so you need to check if it is of the type user then you need to just type cache your holder class and then you can say view holder and text message view dot set text okay and uh, similarly for the else part you can do that and also make sure that you have this get item count method and inside this you can see message dot size and uh, you have to override this method so okay so at this you can uh, you can uh, check in your array list like message dot get into position dot is user then you have to return type user else you have to re return type guest okay so that is it so it's a very simple thing yeah, if you have understood it if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye